Elementor just shipped the off canvas widget into beta and that is coming in Elementor 3.22 and in this video I want to take you through on how you can get started testing out this off canvas widget and what you can expect when it is shipped out. Just to give you a quick overview, this is how the off canvas would look like. Uh, you can position it in the center of the page, on the right hand side, on the left hand side. You can vertically align it at the start of the page, in the middle of the page or at the bottom of the page, which they call it. And you can as well give it a custom size of like 200 pixels or even 350 or you can even change and, you know, use percentages, EMs, REMs and all that. Now you can as well fit it to content or make it custom. So for instance, if you fit it to the content and remove one widget of the content, it will only fit to the size of the content. Uh, let me just duplicate this back and move this down. All this is happening within the off canvas widget, which is having a separate container. Now let's go into the back end and we see how we can set this up. And also if you want to test this out, I'll also be showing you how to do that. So inside your Elementor plugins, you should be having Elementor and the Elementor Pro version 3.22, which is currently in beta testing. And to have this version of beta, you have to go into Elementor tools, come to version control and enable being a beta tester and then save changes. Then you'll have to come back here to plugins, install plugins, and make sure that you update both versions of Elementor and then Elementor Pro. Once that is done, you are going to open up any page with Elementor. For instance, let me say my home page. A few things that you have to notice is that if you want to use the off canvas widget, or if you want to display an off canvas, then you have to add the off canvas and the off canvas trigger on the same page. So for instance, if you want to add this off canvas in the header, then you have to add both the trigger or the link, I should say, and then also the off canvas widget itself. So for instance, if I want to turn this button to be the off canvas trigger, what I'm going to do is to select this button and then come over here to the dynamic link, then go down to actions and I have a new option called off canvas. And under actions, I have to set the option that works best for me. In this case, I wanted to open the off canvas. And here I have to select a widget, which should be the off canvas. So if you have different off canvases on the page, they will display like off canvas one, off canvas two, off canvas three, depending on the number of off canvases that you have on the page. Now, for at the moment, we don't have any off canvas on the page and I'm going to come over here, just add a blank container. And here I have to mention that also to be able to use the off canvas, you should be having the Flexbox containers enabled and also the nested elements enabled on your website. So if you're wondering where to find that, if you come to your Elementor and come to settings and then come right over here to features, Make sure that you have the nested elements active and as well as the Flexbox container active. Then you just have to save changes and then you are good to go. Now back here to our editor, I'm going to add this off canvas widget here. So I'll come to widgets and come here to the pro section because the off canvas widget comes only in Elementor Pro. Add it over there. So automatically I get this, you know, this interface like this, this window, which is the off canvas. Now I can style it the way I want. But when you look over here in the navigator, our off canvas is inside a container. But when you open up our off canvas, it also has its own container. So we can style the off canvas itself, but we can also style the container, which is inside the off canvas. So first thing, Let's first style up our off canvas. So by selecting the off canvas, I'm going to come over here to style and we are going to say the overlay. And here we're going to choose a color for the overlay of the off canvas. So I am going to select this color, which is a blue and I make it a little bit lighter. And then we have also the option to select a background for our of canvas, which is not something that I think I'm interested in right now. But hey, if you want to add 
a background for you of canvas that's how you can add it and if you want to add a gradient this is where you can set that up from so at the moment i am not interested in any of that so i am going to clear that now back to the content setting of the off canvas we can choose how to position our off canvas whether on the left hand side in the center of the page or at the end which is on the right hand side we can as well you know position it at the start of the page or middle which is center here and then or the end so let's say if the height of the off canvas is um 250 pixels now this makes much more sense on how you want to position it vertically so in this case if i say center it is somewhere here hidden in our navigator and if i push it to at the start of the page that's where it will be now if i move it back to the left hand side that's how it will look like at the moment i don't want to specify a height so i want it to just be fit to content now what i'm going to do is to add my content that i want to appear in the off canvas when you select the off canvas widget inside that off canvas widget we have a container so inside that container we are going to add our content for purposes of this tutorial i'll just add a flip box and maybe a dummy form so form and as well i can just select this container and give it some padding which is let me say 30 all over and here i can add even a title i can style this to any way that i want so for the background i'm going to make it a blue yeah so for the face and the back I make the background to be a black. Now, the other thing that we can talk about is, for example, what kind of transitions do you want your off canvas to have when, someone's, when someone opens the off canvas or closes it and all that stuff. And here we will have to go back and select our off canvas widget. And now under settings, we are going to select an entrance animation. So we are going to say fade in left. And then on exit, we are going to say fade out right. Something like that. We can set the timing and also the interactions. We can say prevent closing on overlay or prevent closing on escape overlay or disable page scrolling. So all these are the options that are available for now. You can update and then we can say preview. And now what we are going to do is when you come to this button that we set as our trigger, it should be able to trigger our off canvas. So when I click now, nothing shows up. And why? That's because we have to go back to this button and update it with the new off canvas that we have set up on the page. So what we do here is come back here to the page. I'm going to reload this just to exit the off canvas. Now I'm going to come to our button which is this button here. And I'm going to come back here to the link, which was a dynamic link that we selected and set the off canvas. And now we have to choose the off canvas widget, which is off canvas one. And I am going to save changes. One thing I have to mention is that the widget of the off canvas, which is right over here, doesn't show up on the live page as a widget, but in the back end, you are able to see it just like this over here and also access it using the navigator so now when we go back here and preview our page now we are going to click on our all services and if we click here our off canvas should show and there we go and the challenge here is that it's not displaying how we want it to display or how it should display depending on how we built it inside the editor here inside the editor when i click on this button you see that our off canvas displays just the way we want it to appear and one of the reasons could be that there are still some bugs that elementor has to fix since this is still in beta testing i also try to deactivate most of the plugins and just to have elementor and elementor pro and still the off canvas was being displayed at the bottom of the page and also filling up the entire page area the other thing you have to know is that you can display or trigger your off canvases using any other widget for as long as it has a dynamic link option so in this case if i come over here to this text 
and you see that it has a dynamic link here we can still come to actions and then set our off canvas and then we set this text as the trigger for our off canvas on the page so that's it all for now if you wanted to know what's up with the off canvas that is coming in elementor that's how you can set it up and i also have to mention that it still has some bugs so please don't use this on a live or production website thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video